Right, hi everyone. Welcome to another week of our classic Disney series. This week we are doing Steamboat Willie, otherwise known as the one of the first Mickey Mouse cartoons. Some other doodles. It's a pen doodle. So let's get started. This is Steamboat Willie if you haven't seen him before. This is the type of design we're going to do. We're going to be using these colours. So we're going to be using the classic bronzes and um, sepia tones that, that we've got here. So this is why I've got these pencils today. These are the colour pencils we're going to be using. So it's mainly blues, yellows, browns, greys and uh, black. So that's what we're going to be using. I've got a, a white there as well, just in case we want to do any highlights. So this is my Steamboat Willie. That's better. So this is what we will be creating today. And you can see all the different colours in there, all the different tones that I've put in. Bring it up a little bit, you have to see all the different colours, see the blues and the yellows that are in there to make it a little bit more sepia. So that's what we're going to be doing. So you'll see that I've already drawn a circle. I've drawn this circle so I can tell you how big the circle needs to be. So widthwise, your circle needs to be about five and a half centimeters to get him all on the page. So if you do a circle, that is about five and a half centimeters in size, we should be okay. I know my circles never look like circles. And then what we're going to do, like we did last time, is we're going to bring a line across here. And this line is going to be from here to here. So this one is coming this way. And that is because, we look at our drawing, Mickey's looking that way. So if he's looking that way, that's where our cross needs to be. That's the angle of our face. And then from there, we need to draw ourselves a line of action. Now, this is so we know which direction our Mickey Mouse body is going in. So there's our line of action. So it's coming out pretty much where this vertical line that we put on finishes and it's coming all the way down here and that's just to give us a little bit more idea of where things are going. And then from there we're going to give Mickey A bit of a body. So again, we're going in with another circle. Over that circle, I'm going to give that line, and that line is going to give us the angle of his pants. And 
Now we are going to have a leg coming this way and a leg kind of coming that way. So we just put a couple of lines in, guidelines in to be able to see where they're going. And again, from here down and then across there so that's going to give us a kind of guideline for his for his arm This leg is going to be kind of around there. This one is going to be kind of kind of around there. We'll probably thicken those out, but that's just to give us rough ideas guides of where feet wise we've got kind of this shape now this foot is going upwards as that's the type of shape we need so we're upwards So we've got where is the rough idea of where his body's going to be. We can concentrate now a little bit more on his face. So if we take one line up that way, and now we take a line about there and up, a line about there and out. Then again, they give us the idea of where his ears should be. I know he, he looks a bit like an insect now rather than anything else. But they're going to give us more of an idea of where those parts are going to be. Okay. And then also go to kind of bring this round here okay I'll let you guys catch up Okie doke, so we'll pop a little line in there and then we're kind of, his nose is going to be kind of coming round here and then popping up there, so a bit of a smile line but then it gives us a better idea of where things are going. Now I've just realised what we've completely missed, which is his body line, so we need to pop those in. <laughs> so, give ourselves two little lines there, then at least gives you a better shape. You can see things a little bit better <laughs> rather than just having a middle that was floating in thin air. 
So as we've done this line here, we take this line here to meet up that line. And that gives us a smile. And then we just take a line and we echo that bottom line that we just put in. And that gives us that gives us a chin. But once we've got those lines in, we need to get this nose in here. So that get, gives us our famous Mickey nose. And then to get eyes in, we're going to draw a diagonal line just across this way. And then if we think about when we were doing the face, and that is the intersection here. So that's the space between eyes. So eyes are there. And then there. So once we've done those, we can think about his ears. So we start little line there, little line there. We think about where this ear you're going to see. You're going to see all of that ear. This other ear, you're not going to see all of it, but if we draw it all in to start with, we know part of it is going to be hidden by his hat. So we've got a line either side equally here. And then we're going to put this ear in. Obviously, we can put it in a bit stronger around that side. And that side is going to be behind the hat. So let's get some lines in for his hat. So we think about his hat. It's kind of going to be up there. Kind of that way, and that works. And we've got a little batch on his hat here, and then he's got a peak to his cap. So if we follow his head round, lift that peak, and take that back to that other ear.
and that's once we've got those in we can kind of make this a little bit more poofy kind of like we did with Donald's sailor's hat So then we can rub this line out here. Because that's his hat in then. You don't need that line anymore. And then we can take out these guidelines if you want to. I'm, go I'm gonna leave them in slightly just because if people come on a little bit late, they can catch up. There we go. So as we've done here, we need some buttons on what will be his trousers. So let's look at where his buttons should be. So we're going to have one button that's about there. Use this top line. So he's then going to have another button that's about there. We need to give him some pants, don't we, really? But all in good time. And a tongue. We haven't given him a tongue yet. <laughs> we need to do that too. We're going to take our time so you guys can catch up. So his trunk is quite simple, it's kind of a letter M. So we've got that kind of shape inside his mouth. Just like that. Just, we just need to bring a little line down here and that's where the zip line line is there. There we go. So then we're going to think about his tail. So his tail is going to come from about there and it's going to go behind his foot that way. If we've got his tail in, we can work out where his trousers are going to go. So let's have a little think. Let's take that to there and that to there. a little bit long. I'm sure that's fine. Make them turn a bit shorter. And then the opposite line, if we follow that line of action there. Pants. Oh, I don't like that. That's far too long. Let's get rid of that. That's better.
Yeah, that's a pass. Legs wise, I'm going to be putting ankles and foot kind of around there. So as you bring this leg, give it a slow little bend. Hi, Rube. So, let's bring that leg round a bit more. That's a bit better. That just wasn't where it needed to be there at all. Now, we are going to follow in your lines. going to give him some food. Oh, I love that. Oh, I am such a connoisseur of the Hidden Mickey. I do love the Hidden Mickey and I completely agree. Whichever as Rupert said in his comments, guys, because Rupert is an animator, so we are very blessed to have him with us today. Um, whichever way Mickey faced, his ears are always circular. So if you think of the, all of the hidden Mickeys, as Roop says, all the hidden Mickeys, if you ever go to a Disney resort, you will always see three circles, which is a hidden Mickey. And they can be absolutely anywhere, honestly. They can be literally in a flower bed, on a wall, in the carpet. You know, it's, it's just, it's, and I've just noticed that we need to give that in. Yeah, a little bit more. Oh, thank you, Paula. You're very kind. Very kind. So, oh, thanks for that. It was brilliant. So then let's give Mickey some shoes. We need to give him some shoes and that needs to be bigger. We go in that kind of shape for Mickey's shoe. And then this one, we're going to see kind of the sole of the shoe. So if we give it a line down, a line around. Now, I've given it a little rectangle here because this is going to be the heel of his shoe. Because this shoe is going to be that way. So we think about the heel of this shoe, we're following this line of action. Oh feet, don't fail me now, this is not working. My feet aren't working today. My feet aren't working at all. Poor feet. Let's try him again. So we are going up this way. We are going out this way. And okay. Now that's his foot. So let's join that up with. He's very skinny. <laughs> His legs are very skinny. They shouldn't be that skinny. Let's flatten them up a little bit. There we are. So there we've got feet in. Let's get his, his arm in there. Uh, we're kind of nearly there, aren't we? Oh, am 
my skinny legs, they look so bad. Why do my legs look so skinny? I'm not happy with them at all, people. Let's maybe make... Sorry about the noise outside, guys. I don't know what's going on. Suddenly someone's decided it's tea time, so it's time to start DIYing. Right. Let's get this foot a bit better. We need a lasso on the end there. Um, he can't forget his souls, you know, he needs a bit of a soul of a shoe. So then we can take out some of these lines of action. We don't have to take them all. I actually quite like them. And if you have a look at my other drawing that we did, I've left a lot of them off because I just like them. I think it just makes... The drawing look a lot more complete you could rub them out if you want to you know it's 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 absolutely up to you how how you this is your drawing so you do how you feel uh, you want to do your mickey because it's your mickey it is your mickey it's not my mickey i've helped you draw him but it is your mickey so if we take out some of these i'm going to take out the original line of action and then this back line as well. And I'm going to take this line across a little bit because he's just not bending the right way. That's better. That's better. A little tweak. So we'll take out this little line of action as well. Just so we can and I'm gonna obviously rub out this leg underneath the shorts. So He's got a bit of a lockdown belly. We've done giving him quite a big belly, but I think that's fine. He's my Mickey. I think I'm going to give him a nice big fat lockdown belly. Now, what are we missing? Are we missing anything? Let's just get that line out of there. Yes. So let's start colouring. Obviously, we're not going traditional, we're going sepia. So we are going to start with our yellow pencil crown. And first of all, I'm going to put an arrow there. You don't have to put an arrow there. I'm going to put an arrow there. And I want to put an arrow there because that's the way my light is coming in. So it will keep reminding me. You can do it in normal pencil and rub it out. It's the easiest way to remember which way your light is going. So if we're thinking the light is going here, this is going to be light, so this is going to be dark. So we give our yellow pencil crayon a bit of beans and here inside here because again that's up his trouser leg so that's going to be dark. And 
the the sole of his shoe is going to be dark, so we can give just give it a little bit further down. So we can give his shoe. Have I worked out his tail? No, his tail's there. Let's just get his tail in a bit more so we can see it. There we go. So there. Darky, dark, dark. A little bit there. Tiny touch there. And then here will also be a little bit dark. And here, that's where the, the light's hitting, so this bit will be a little bit dark. will also be dark and then we look at his hat so if the light is that way that will be light that will be dark so we're going to give him a hat Oh, which you can't see. Sorry, guy. Happily colouring and not realising that I did get closer and I didn't move, so I do apologise. There we go. So that's hat. And then let's give this little white face a tiny bit. Just the touch, so you, you could literally blow your pencil away. The touch is so tight, very light, all the way around that little face. And then just underneath his nose, we'll give that a little touch of light as well. There we go. Tongue is going to be dark because it's in his mouth and it's not getting any light at all. So there, we've started working out where our colours are going to be. So the next colour we're going to use is going to be brown. So I think this is a, a brown ochre. But just a light brown. If you've got a light brown pencil, that's going to do exactly the same. So, going in. And around all over where you put your yellow before. Just give it a little dab of your brow. Again here. What you'll notice is I'm leaving what's called a highlight just on the very edge here. So don't colour all the way in. It's a little trick that makes things look a little bit more 3D. I don't know why it works. I'm sure somebody that's a lot more trained than me can tell you why it works. <laughs> I just like to draw. The more I draw, the happier it makes me feel. And to me, it's not all about the hard and fast rules. So here we go. Okay, and you're browning. Okay. 
and I'm just going to go in the brown here. When you're using colouring pencils, I always find, unless you are going, you, you want the texture and you want the shape, you are best using circles. It just makes it slightly smoother. Um, the, there is less for the eye to see stroke wise. So colouring in in circles, if there's if you've got quite a large area to colour, is always the best way of colouring. So then we've got our heels. He's more, looking more like a golden Mickey at the moment, isn't he? Carry on with our brow. There we are, and then we're going to go back into the hat. And then we are going to use our dark brown. Into all the areas that we know that are going to be dark but if you start with our yellow and then we go darker it tends to just give us a better idea and a, a nicer finish because you've got a little bit more depth to the picture because there's a few more tones that ordinarily if you'd gone in straight away with a dark brown you wouldn't have got you wouldn't have got the depth if you've gone straight in. You think now if you just coloured this all in with a dark brown pencil, yeah, it wouldn't have worked. So we go in now. Dark brown. So after we've used our brown, we're going to use our blue. And this just lifts it, that little bit of cyan. 
which is eight. And look at this, it's a, it's, it's, it's a bluey green. When you buy an ink cartridge, and it says cyan, it's the bluey green. It's part of the four colours of print process. Not that you want to know. And then we are going to go to Let's just get a tiny bit of yellow in there. Some cards in our hats because we are going to be using blue in our hats and the greys. Let's just get a little bit of blue. All right, so next we are going to be using our dark grey. And we are going to start putting in Nicky hints. Start with his ear. Thing. because that's not very good so we go back to our normal pencil and start getting some colour into Mickey Third one of your door. Let's just get this extra little widget done there. And then we are going in here. No, 
now we're going to give a little bit of light up there. I'm going to swap that to B, I'm going to swap to a slightly darker pencil, so I'm going to go to a 4B. It's fine if you don't have a 4B, this is just now because I'm not using, you can actually just use your grey pencils and your black pencils, but my pencil isn't working too well, so... Just flip into a slightly darker so you can see it. You can see it a little bit better. Oh, thanks, Boo. I worry you're, you're going to grade me. <laughs> So then, on to Mickey's other ear. And again, I'm going to give it a little bit of light here. So there's this other ear. Now we need to get that little mark in there. And then dark parts of his mouth. Let's get that covered. So then his nose, and because there's a light source, I'm going to leave that little part of his nose. Eyes, we're just going to leave a little shine at the top. And the same with this one. Give 
just pop them into a bit in the shadow. Go. And then we've got this torso. So again, this bit we're going to leave light. So just use your pencil very with less pressure. Obviously this is going to be quite dark so you can use quite a heavy pressure there. And then we're on to his legs. So we're going to keep this bit light and then dark this bit. the top of his, his little hat.
So I think he's done, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. And hopefully I'll see you all again soon. Next week, um, we are up for the suggestions. We're going to do some more animation. I'm thinking Simba, because he's one of my favourites, or maybe Dumbo. Um, oh, I'm up for suggestions, guys. So I'll have a little think over the weekend what, what people could fancy doing, and we can join in with that. But thank you again, and I'll see you all next week. Bye.